right shalom all praise is honor and glory is always being to yahweh bahashim yahweh shah bahashim rakak wadash double honors unto the elders and the apostles at gms great millstone who through the spirit and power of yahweh shim yahweh shah rule all of the nation of israel well today Peace, love, blessing, salutations be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, begin with 140 and 4,000 prophets, all the way down to the one-third men, women, and children who are truly able to receive the glorious, glorious light of this gospel, man. All right? All through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who, who, are, who are, their ears are being opened, and they're able to, 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 to listen and return unto, unto, unto the fold, man. All right? Because like I was telling somebody in the world recently, um, you know, he, he's been, you know, starting to you know watch the videos and you know things of that nature and learn and you know he came up to me and i talked to him you know years ago years ago about the truth man and he kind of really just put a blind eye towards it you know and uh you know he came up to me recently man just repentive and you know sorrowful and he's just like man he's like you know this is the truth you know and i told him i was like man when you really when you're given the spirit to really to 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 open up your ears and listen it's it's it, it, it's beyond clear God. you see because because these ain't our words that are coming out man and now you're starting to see all these things come to pass and at the end of the day you know what is it that's going to be done to heal our people man you've been striving for generation and generation and generation and ain't nothing has been done you see esau is not going to be removed and nobody is going to come and, and cause that to happen for you man other than our king so this is the book, this is the guidelines, and the elect are able to, to have their ears opened up to, to, to hearken unto this and, and, and understand that, that, you know, this is the only way, man. This is the only way that our people are going to get delivered, man. Tupac ain't going to come back and save you. Uh, uh, Martin Luther Queen ain't going to come back and get you. Che Guevara ain't going ain't gonna to get you. There ain't nothing that they've said that have brought our people salvation, man. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Lord, we're going to be edifying unto the elect. I something right away. Uh, uh, Jeremiah, this is Jeremiah 7 and 24. It says, But they hearken not, nor incline their ear, but walk in the counsel and in the imagination of their evil heart. Yep, so they walk according to their emotions, man. You see, you, you, you Esau's built up this facade, all right, uh, of seeing the Heavenly Father as, as you believe him to be. But well, we have the guidelines right here, man. You see, that's why one third of us, we're, we're coming back into the knowledge of what it means to judge according to not our principles, not our own vain thoughts and emotion, not according to our hearts, but according to the to the principles and the laws given unto us by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, in which, you know, the end result is going to be what, man? Us being perfect. You see those laws instilled within your heart and within your mind. Right now, what's in your heart is wickedness, man. You see nothing but, but what Esau has given you, man. See, so beat into your great grand grandmother, your great grandfather, and now they beat it into you. From from the smallest things, man, even even from the things finish the food off your plate. That that, that was given us to uh, in slavery, man. There is no Bible scripture that says you can't, uh, you need to finish the food off your plate. There's a, there's a scripture that says you you can't you can't uh, uh, be a glutton though. You see, so again, we're learning how to judge according to these scriptures, man. All right, from even the tiny things like that. And, and eventually we're going to establish this, you know, these principles within the entire planet Earth. And the That's whole right. planet is going to be made to flourish. Yep. It says, and went backwards and not forward. Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, daily rising up early. Yep. And given, given you what, man? Judges, the prophets, raising up men. To tell you the way to go, man. And only those who, who have been given that ear to, to, to open it and, and hearken unto it are going to be able to receive it, man. Ever since day one, ever since we were brought out of Egypt, the Heavenly Father has risen up particular men to deliver this message to us, man. And, and, and Israel has continued to not listen. Go ahead, Doc. It says... Uh, yet they hearken not unto me, or Shalaka, daily rising up early and sending them. Yet they hearken not unto me, nor incline their ear, but hardened their neck. And they did worse than their fathers. Therefore sh thou shalt speak all these words unto them, but they will not hearken to thee. 
Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. Yep. So, hey, man, you know, at the end of the day, we don't get upset about it because it was prophecy. You see, it's been prophesied that Israel ain't going to listen. But it's also been prophesied that one third of us are going to be given the spirit and that spiritual ear to receive this, man. Go ahead. Doc. Verse 28. But thou shalt say unto them, this is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, Shem Yashai, their power, nor receive correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Yeah. And you see that right now. You see that from among the two thirds that are walking in, in their own lust, man. There, there's no truth in your mouth. Only uh, uh, double minded. You're all double minded. Y'all speak nothing but corruption. You know, you follow after with the waves of Babylon and these heathen nations, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, you want me to keep going up? Come, come. Verse 29. It says, uh, cut off thy hair, O Jerusalem, and cast it away, and take up a lamentation on high places. For the Lord, Yehovah Shem Yahushai, hath rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. Go ahead, brother, break that up. Come on, man. Hey, man, so, hey, it, right, right now it's basically saying, man, you know, it, like, you, you could sit there and, and, and cry all you want, man. But Yahweh Shem Yahshai is not going to hear you, man. He rejected you guys, man, for walking in these uh, wicked ways, man. W walking perversely throughout this, uh, 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 especially now in these end times, man. You know, when, when you're supposed to be seeking Yahweh Shem Yahshai even more, knowing that you see prophecies, man. Knowing you see, two-thirds of you see it, but you don't understand it, and you still don't want to seek and search out the knowledge, man. Mm -hmm. it's, that, it's that lack of fear. Yep. Um, I got a precept. Brothers, don't mind. Con, go ahead. Okay. Um, this is Jeremiah um, 44 and 9. Have you forgotten the wickedness of your fathers and the wickedness of the kings of Judah and the wickedness of, of their wives and your own wickedness and, and the wickedness of your, your, uh, your wives which they have committed in the land of Judah? And in the streets of Jerusalem, they are not humble even unto this day. Neither have they feared, nor walked in, the, in my law, nor in my statutes, that I, I set before you and before your fathers. That's God. About it, you, know. you know, being in that pride, in that state of pride, man. When you're at, when right now in society, you're at the bottom. Yeah, you might have a couple of jakes here and there that, you know, have made it. You're in the NFL, you're, you're a rapper, this and that. But what are you doing, man? You, you ain't doing no righteousness. You, you, you're, you're helping to pervert Israel even more, man. Mm -hmm. And to pervert the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, man. What, uh, what did that, uh, dude, uh, um, not Nipsey Hussle, what's the other one? Kendrick Lamar do, man. He just perverted the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. Trying to trying to speak some truth out there in his uh, lyrics, this and that, and then gets shuts off. Uh, he gets shut down by by this Amalekite, Amalekites, man. Tell him he can't be talking about that no more in his uh, music, man. Mm -hmm. That's you perverting that. You're bringing it out, and then you don't bring it out no more, man. Yep, and we have these examples uh, of old. You know, our forefathers, man. All these different kings who are in wickedness to show you uh, an example of how not to be, man. I got another precept real quick. This is uh, Sirach 49 and verse 4. It says, all except David and Ezekias. You want to grab, brother, uh, Romans 9? Or, so like you, Romans 11? It says, uh, all except David and, and Ezekias, being Ezekiel, and Josias were defective. So, so all except for, you know, just these three Israelites that it named were defective, man. You see examples of, uh, of Israelites who couldn't receive this word, man, refused to hearken, but instead chased after the heathen. You see going on, it says, for they forsook the law of the Most High, even the kings of Judah failed. You see, even the kings of Judah, man, it says, therefore, he gave their power unto others and their glory to a strange nation. And that's why the world is in the condition it's in today, man. Because the Heavenly Father 
gave it over into the hands of Esau Edom. We were meant to establish the principles and oracles of the Heavenly Father, his laws within the planet Earth. And it's been given unto Esau, the, the base of man, the border of wickedness. And look what he's done to the entire planet, man. You see? And what, what did it show you, man? It showed you just a few Israelites compared to this vast majority. You see, likened unto the elect today, man. The scriptures compare it to a drop compared to a wave. You see? Particular Israelites within this world, man, they're, they're, they've been given a different spirit. You see, they're not okay with just sitting here and being a simple Egyptian and just continuing in igno ignorance is bliss. We're not okay with it, man. You see? Go ahead, brother. Uh, Romans 11. Romans 11. Go ahead and start on okay. verse uh, verse 3. Uh, this is Romans chapter 11, verse 3, and it reads, Lord, they have killed the prophets and dig down thy altars. Yo, again, what, are, what, what, what Israel was doing, man. You had these particular men that were risen up, just like the brother got earlier. These prophets of old being risen up to deliver this message. Let Israel know that they were going off. And what were they doing? Killing them, man. They would rather continue in their folly. You see? Go ahead, brother. And I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. You see, so at this time during, uh, uh, um, who was it, um, Elijah, okay, you were having all the all the, uh, the prophets of Baal were, were, were causing all of Israel to just murder the, the true prophets, man. And why? Because the prophets of Baal were giving you uh, uh, peaceful things, man. Just like these so-called Christians today. Some of our biggest scoffers are so-called Christians, man. Dedicating their whole lives to, to nothing but 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 coming up against the truth, man. You see, these same people that were in ancient times who were actually uh, putting hands upon the prophets. You see, but he at that time, he reserved 7,000 men. You know, Elijah thought he was the only prophet left. But the Heavenly Father said, no, I, I reserved 7,000. And this is likened unto the one-third today, man. You see? Go ahead, brother. Verse 5, even so. Then... Except for now, the ba Baal would have been replaced with Esau. You see, 7,000 men, one-third, who are not going to give the knee unto Esau Edom, man. Just like those 7,000 men who did not give the knee unto Baal. Under the point of death, man. Go ahead, brother. Even so, then, at this present time, also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. You see, it just all things are written for our learning, man. This was an example of the remnant that's been preserved. You see, the remnant that's been separated, the remnant that is able to, to have the ears to listen and understand. You see, to hearken unto this thing. All right, this this is the, the that, that remnant that the this time of grace, Yahweh Shai's sacrifice was given for, man. We're in a grace period right now in order for this remnant to get right in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, in order for them to be able to hear and to come into this thing. Come was that uh let me uh if i may bring out um just a quick one come on, come on, go ahead, this is zechariah 8 and 8 and it reads and it shall come to pass that in all the land saith the lord yahweh bashim yashai two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third shall be left therein mm -hmm. yep two third two thirds of israel is going to continue following after esau man giving the knee unto esau you see and and, and refusing to hearken but one third is going to be delivered, man. One third is going to receive salvation. Okay. Going back into Romans 11, verse 6. And if by grace, then is it no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What that? That shows that. you the power of the Heavenly Father, man. He's saying that if this, if this thing be of grace... And it ain't nothing that you can say or do to make you part of the one third, you see, or vice versa. You see, at the end of the day, man, we're over here telling what Esau that he can't do nothing about being an Edomite. Everybody fits their role. This is the heavenly father's story, man. He set this grace aside, which is going to deliver the elect. You see, not your righteous works, which is going to deliver the elect, but the grace that was given the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, man. You see, that sacrifice was made in order for the one-third to be able to have those ears to be able to hear, man. Otherwise, we would have been left in our dead works and we would have never been able to understand, which tells you that all of this is true, man. 
Otherwise, we would all be in the world still. We would still be running around calling ourselves Egyptian, calling ourselves uh, 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 Chicanos, calling ourselves Mexican, calling ourselves uh, uh, whatever the case is, man. Now we're returning unto, unto our, our, our true heritage. Go ahead. Come on. It says, uh, verse 7, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yep. So, A, hey, at the end of the day, it's not given unto all Israel anymore. Two-third of you Israelites are going to continue bullshitting and, and, and not receive this message, not have the ears to, 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 to receive it properly, just so you could be given over unto death just to fulfill this prophecy, man. And the various others that we've gotten. God. Verse 8, according as it is written, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, ears that they should not hear unto, his, unto this day. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hey, so, so the Heavenly Father gave them the spirit of slumber, man. The spirit of sleep. Blind, closed your eyes and closed your ears. So you can't receive it. You see? And, uh, and and those who have, man, we've been lucky enough to have heard this thing. And not only to hear it, but to also receive it, man. That's why you need to make the calling of your election sure and continue striving harder and harder and harder. You see, because there ain't nothing. What else could you be given in this world that is beyond this truth? Even Yahweh Shai was offered everything, man. Well, yeah, but, but at the end of the day, he was going to receive anything, everything anyway. But in righteousness, had he just endured, and he did. Giving you an example of righteousness. We have these examples of destruction. And we also have the examples of, of, of mercy, man. Of glory. You see? One third of us, we know and understand that this place is over, man. We have a better place to come. You see? Us just being at the very bottom and receiving the scraps from Esau's table isn't enough. We have we have way more to come, man. This is uh, Matthew 13. In verse 15, uh, verse 14, it says, And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, again talking about Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. And this people's heart is waxed gross, that their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. So they've been blinded just, just so they can't be healed, man. Just so they can't repent. They've been given over unto Esau. They've been given over unto this world. That's why, again, at the end of the day, we don't, we don't, we ain't gonna sit there and just try to beat it into your head. If you can't get it, go ahead, go ahead and move on, because two thirds of you ain't gonna get it, man. That's right. The majority of you are not gonna get it. And that's all. Of the will and power of Yahweh Hashem outside, man. That's right. You know, He decides what, who, and who doesn't get delivered, man. He decides what nation is what, he, and He already had decided this before He even started, man. All right. Mm -hmm. That's why everything's ordained, man. That's why He answers if your prayers are to be answered. He answers them before you even pray because He already knows. Mm -hmm. Yep. Going back into the Book of Romans, what did it say? Because uh, if it is gr uh, grace, it's no more of works. Huh. You see? Uh, going on uh, verse 16, it says, But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. You see? So we've been given, we've been blessed to be able to, to be called into this truth, man. But that still don't make you chosen. You see, that's, that's why right. you got to continue. That, that, that just gives you the motivation to fight harder for this than anything else in life, man. I remember I had one guy, uh, you know, this is kind of recent. You know, he's over there just shadow boxing. You know, and he's like, man, he's like, he's like, there's nothing that I've ever, you know, I've ever really given myself over to except for, and this guy was a so-called Christian. He was like, except for uh, uh, the MMA, you know, he's over here fighting the air. And I was like, man, and you know what? I didn't say this, but I thought about it. I was like, man, you know, really the only thing I've really given myself over that I've really tried at in my life, you know, cause I've kind of just, you know, <laughs> just done this at most things, you know what I mean? Just done what I had to. And, you know, the only thing that I've really tried at, you know, sincerely is, is 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 this word man for the most part you know i mean there might be a little things that you know gave a little bit of effort into you know vain things when you were in the world or whatever man but you know 
the only thing that I've really given everything to, you know, is this word, man. And that, that, that's the, that's the motivation that you, that you get, you know, when you really understand how beautiful this truth is, man. Because you could be just like this. That's why you have all these different scriptures talking about the, the truth is beyond fine rubies and fine gold. Ooh. You got one up? Yeah, yeah, I got one. Um, you're okay with me grabbing real quick. Okay. Um, this is out of uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7. And let's start on 11. All good things uh, together come to me with her. Now, when you get into wisdom of Solomon, it breaks down the, uh, who that her is, is, is wisdom. And this truth. And, uh, and who is that wisdom and that truth uh, 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 um, come from? It's, it's from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. All good things together come come to me with her. And innumerable yep, all riches. all good things, man. All good things and innumerable riches. You see, you put the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai first and the rest is going gonna, is gonna to fall in line, man. You're really looking at Esau and his place of glory being being envious, which, you know, sometimes we all get into that spirit. But guess what, man? Esau is in no place compared to what we are going to receive, man. That's why you see these elites over here, you know, uh, uh, drinking blood and, you know, just doing all this nasty shit because they they ain't like us, man. When we're in our righteousness, we we we're going to have we're going to have everlasting life, man. Be made incorruptible, immortals, man. Esau ain't going to never be no damn immortal. That's right. <laughs> so we were making all these comic books trying to make trying to make all these images white. They finally gave you niggas the Black Panther and you done lost your mind. Yep. That is our place, man. And one third of us, we've given, been given the spirit to, to actually see that. Two thirds of you run around talking about you're a king and royal, this and that. A lot of you don't even care. But many of you, you know, you have some kind of knowledge about, you know, being set up. And this is the only foundation in which we will receive it through, man. So stop making, stop trying to perfect your time and being the best blunt roller, man. Because that ain't going to do shit for your people, man. Stop perfecting your time trying to trying to understand the thought process of Che Guevara and making stickers and, 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 and pamphlets and, and, and Che Guevara flags. Che Guevara ain't coming back for you, man. Right. Oh, man. And hey, you know what? And the brother hit certain points, man. Look at this kingdom here, man. I was driving in downtown and man, it was just like, it was your pub what the brother said because you know, and then what happened uh, with the other brother, how he spoke on it. Our kingdom's going to be an everlasting kingdom, man. It's not going to be deteriorating, man. It's not going to be rotting away, man. I was mm -hmm. driving down here, cracks and potholes everywhere on the road, man. Yup. Constantly having to get your alignment done. <laughs> This is this is vain glory here, man. If, mm -hmm. if you're trying to uh, have some type of glory here, man, there ain't nothing nothing to glory yourself in here in Babylon the Great, man. Yep. All these exhaust fumes emitting themselves from these vehicles, man. We're gonna have the chariots, man. You're over here striving for some damn Mercedes Benz. You're gonna be we we gonna have chariots. <laughs> Sorry, that's why that um, I forgot who it was, but that. Uh... Uh, one prophet was breaking down how everything is uh, uh, in this world is meaningless. Yeah, yeah, that was um, uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter yeah. 2. Solomon. Yep, yep. yep. Um, I'm going to continue uh, finishing off. Uh, it says, And innumerable riches in her hand, and I will rejoice in, in them all, because wisdom goeth before them. And I know know not that she was the mother of them. I learned di diligently, and do communicate her liberty. Um, I do not hide her riches, for she is a treasure unto uh, unto men that never uh, falleth, uh, faileth, which they uh, they that uh, use become the friends of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Being commu uh, man, the friends of the Creator of all energy, man. Could you imagine that? Being crowned by Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead, brother. Being co commended for the gift, the gifts. You know, give, give gifts are, are, are something that that's given, man. Can't pick up and say Eureka, and you and you got it. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> it says for the gifts that. Come from learning. Um, 
So I'm gonna throw what I got. Just uh, back up what you were getting on. Con, con. Uh, yep. Hey, that, that, that preset there brought a lot of good points, man. Because when you go into John, man, he, he, he says, uh, I'll just read it, John 15 and 16, he's, it reads, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye shall go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit shall remain, that whosoever shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. You know, just back backing up what, what I had said earlier, I think I went down too far. Let me go up. It says, um, verse 14, Ye are my friends, if ye do what I whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I called you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Yep, you, you, you've been made called friends because what? You, you've been given the glorious light of this gospel, man. Just like we said in the beginning, man. The, 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 those who have been given the glorious, glorious light of this gospel. And what's the gospel mean? Good news, man. This is the only news that's going to deliver you. There is nothing else that can be done. How many times do we got to say it? Nothing else that can be done to, 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 to deliver you, man. Nothing else that can be done to cause the, the ocean to come back to life. Nothing else that can be done to cause these uh, uh, animals from going extinct. Nothing else that can be done to cause the, the, the uh, uh, jungles to stop getting chopped down. You see? Go ahead, Al. Come, come. That was it on that one. Let me bring up another one because I was holding it before it goes too far. It says uh, Isaiah, I think it might already had passed though. Isaiah 29 and 9. It says, Stay to yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong yeah, so drink. The nation of Israel has been made drunk, not with wine. You see, they're not drunk. They're not over here walking around drunk off of, uh, you know, some vodka and Hennessy 24-7. I mean, you know, some 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 are. But they're drunk with with, with the philosophies and, and, and the ways of Esau Edom, man. Because through his beast system, that's why when you go into Revelation, uh, uh, the 17th chapter, all right, it talks about this, this great whore that's passed its cup to the entire planet Earth, which is likened unto America. You see, and, and it has its, its its beast governmental system over the entire planet, man. Being Esau's power structure, America, NATO, and the EU. And they've caused this cup to, to pass throughout the whole planet. And caused our people to walk in this, in this spiritual place of drunkenness, man. The spiritual place of dead, the spiritual dead. That's why you have the scriptures about the valley of dry bones, man. That's why Israel's walking around like a goddamn skeleton. But one third of us are returning uh, uh, unto who we unto who we were created to be, man. Immortals, kings, man. The scriptures refer to it as gods going into pursuing the Psalms eighty-two. Go ahead, Ak. verse ten. For the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshai hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and hath closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, hath hath he covered and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed which man delivered to one that is learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i cannot for it is sealed mm -hmm. hey so it's been sealed he could he couldn't he couldn't receive these words that are here but guess what man those seals have been broken Go ahead and grab that. Go ahead, I'll keep going. Verse 12. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he say, I am not learned. Whoo! <laughs> one, one cannot because it's like it's sealed. I don't understand it. And the other one, he, he's not learned, you know? He's like, man, I, I, I can't even start reading this and, and, and try to teach it to you. Nope. Let me grab these real quick, brother. This is uh, Revelation chapter 5 and verse uh, verse 3. Uh, we'll go to verse 2. It says, And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and loose the seals thereof? You see, this book's been out there. The whole world's been drunken off the philosophies of Esau. 
One of those philosophies is Christianity, man. That plantation Christianity, which teaches you nothing but death, man. That you go in there, you go in there a decent human being, and you come out being even worse, man. Right. Now you've been given license to be wicked. They tell you, oh, there was a sacrifice. So you could do whatever the hell you want. Just call upon sweet Jesus. Yep. And that. now you've received nothing but the, the cup of wrath from Esau, man. Yep. <laughs> so all they're giving you is nothing but, but honey, 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 man. There's no balance to it, man. Mm -hmm. And I was just trying to watch a video on this damn Christian pastor, man. I couldn't watch it, man. I, I even to do a little, like it was so irritating because all he was speaking was sweet things, man. He was not even getting anything out of the scripture, man. Yep. He went on ranting about how you could prosper and how you're gonna do this and how you're gonna do that. It was like talking about, oh, you're gonna be a billionaire paparazzi and yep. this and like, what the fuck is going on with this guy? No, like, I had to shut it off. It was just vexing. Con. So yeah, you see that, you see that, and then all of a sudden they change the channel. And it's, it's a, you know, a, a man of the elect, a, a true man of the Lord. And he's going to be up there austere, telling you how it is. You see? Telling you that, oh, you, 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 you're, you, the nation of Israel consists of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, those who've been scattered. You see who go back to that lineage. And it, it ain't for everybody. And, you know, just, just hearing that real quick, oh, oh, man, what? I'm going back to Pastor Bob. He was making me feel warm and cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> you see, but when when you've been given those ears to actually hearken, then you're going to actually receive. Damn, man. The nation of Israel was created since the very beginning to establish the rule of the Heavenly Father. They've been removed. That's why the planet Earth is like that. That's why the, why the planet Earth is dying. That's why the world's been given in the hands of Esau. That's why Christianity has flourished. But when they return... This is the condition the planet Earth is going to be in. Revelation 21, Zechariah 14. It just all comes together, man. When you yep. take the time to actually, well, I'm going to say when you take the time, when you've been given the spirit to have your ears opened under this thing, man. Yeah, you won't go into those Christian churches having hope for one hour and living seven, six days and 23 hours without hope, man. Mm -hmm. See when you when you're given the spirit to hear and, and to see, man, it, it, it opens up your mind and it, it gives you that realization of why you were in the pit we're in, mm -hmm. why we are suffering so much, man, and, and it gives you that uh, that that freedom of living in hope and not more in, no more in bondage, man. Uh, yep. Let me go ahead and hit this. Uh, it says. Revelation 5 and uh, verse, yeah, verse 2. Who, who is able to open the book and loose the seals thereof? Verse 3. And again, mind you what the brother was just reading. You see, uh, uh, the, the one man, he was too unlearned to understand what it was saying. The other man, what, what was the other he, man? He said uh, he, couldn't, he couldn't break it down because it was sealed. Yeah, because it was sealed, man. <laughs> so 